video. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Woo. <laughs> Is everyone happy? Yeah. Good job. Thanks, buddy. So I was, I've been all over. Um, I was actually bored on the East Coast in Newfoundland and St. John's. Well, that explains a lot about all yeah. that turning the boat was doing. Yeah, I hear you. <laughs> on the rocks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, uh, I lived there until I was seven. And then we moved to the lower mainland in BC. And oh. I was in Port Coquitlam until I was a teenager. Mm -hmm. And then around 13, 14, um, I moved to Calgary. And then we, we were in Calgary until uh, my early 20s. And then um, we made the move back to the East Coast because we had some uh, business opportunities down there. And we went and did that for six or seven years. Yeah. And we just recently moved back here uh, about six years ago. to go three, four times a week um, when we lived in Newfoundland. Mm -hmm. And then growing up, we we, uh, we always fished. Um, Mom and Dad always had me out, out fishing as I got older. We were doing hunting and stuff too. Yeah. Um, but we, uh, uh, I've always grown up fishing. It's always been there. And I kind of want to get in front of that, not off to the side, coming through it like this. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, yeah. Stonefly time is my favorite time. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't get any better than stonefly. I don't time. think that there isn't uh, an angler out there that couldn't have a cup of coffee that lasted two hours talking about stonefly hatches. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, yeah. The other thing too is that the the river the the red deer is unique. It's very unique because you you get this the whole top section free stone section. You can come run through, um, you know, all the way from Panther, all the way down to, to Dixon Dam. Um, and you have so many opportunities for trout. You get bull trout, brown trout, uh, you get your brookies. There's just, it's polluted with Rockies. Like there's just yeah, so there's many, a lot, so yeah. many Rockies that are out here. Mm -hmm. And then it's, what, what's really neat about it is then you can hop in below the dam uh, into the tailwaters and it's just it's a completely different and then you're in your gold eye you're in your gold eye, eye and your pike and, your and, pike. and you get awesome opportunities yep. for browns and those grounds I've I've always found to be really special because uh, it took for me to start seeing and finding browns and stuff down below the dam it really took some time yeah I, I find them to be I find them to lie and do things really differently than what I'm accustomed to mm -hmm. and for me it took Boy, it was quite a puzzle for me for a while until I started getting to be able to get going on and down there. Yeah, the uh, you can you can move them pretty easy. If I just fish properly, we're fine. Yeah. <laughs> I have no problem putting it back on myself when it is me. Yeah, yeah. So I might get us a little piled up on this bar here. All right, buddy. Because we won't make that corner. Well, we might make that corner. I'm finally leaned you in. You try so. for it? You do what it, you, go where you. Oh, no, yeah. That's right. Yeah, and then it, it gets better as the run goes on. But halfway down this run, it starts to get real good. There's just not a lot of water right here. 
Yeah. It looks so good and juicy when you come over that, but. Yep, because oh, there's, it always there's is. no, there's no, it totally depends on the day. For me personally, I really like to stream. I like to do streamer fishing yeah. quite a bit. Um, I find it, it can be very effective, especially with in a raft. Yeah. And especially in rafty water in the mountain mm -hmm. water, you know what I mean? It, it can be a really, really good way to fish. Mm -hmm. um, that said though, I mean, I find for me, even up here, I think it's a lot like everywhere else where probably 85, 90% of our fish do come off of nymphing, right? Oh, for um, sure. When the dry fly, um, when the dry flies go in and they're, they're surface conscious, um, I think there's nothing better and that can be really fun mm -hmm. from the raft too, especially because you can be so multi-directional yeah. and the boat positioning can be a little less crucial because sometimes you don't have an option on where, mm -hmm. where you're going to position the raft. Oh, that was a fish. Yeah, it was. There, it still hit it. Yeah. There, there you go. Good job. I seen the one flash and then, uh, it came back. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. See, and that's like a saying. That's right? awesome. Man, it's a, that's October, dude. They come oh, yeah. once, twice, three times, five yeah. times. They I saw it and then it, it turned out of it. Yep, absolutely. That's a bully. <laughs> I was just thinking too, where I'm like, okay, this is the halfway point. Like, what's going on? Oh, yeah. <laughs> that thing is awesome. Yeah. Like it, eh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> and it's got that nice spotty color. Totally. Yeah. Almost like a perky back. Eh? Yep. Yeah. All right. All right. It's okay. Very fast. Good. <laughs> yeah. Wicked. Send it home. If you're good. Yeah. I'm good. Yep. That's Very some of the fun. funnest part. That's you really should do right? a few of those. That's my favorite part, so I'm sure yeah. it's someone else's. It is. It's like, it's yeah. especially when you, you can release check. some yeah. of those. Yeah. <laughs> I do it lots too. So. <laughs> oh, this has been a great day, bud. Yeah. Oh, thanks. I'm glad you liked it. Oh, thanks for the invite. I